Welcome back, everybody, to a thing. Also, Metroid Fusion. Right. I now have a plan of attack for dealing with how I fucked this up. And it involves going around sectors the difficult way. Not using the elevators to get there. Basically from here, I'm gonna be going to uh, sector four. Once I kill most of these guys. There we go, that's good enough. Basically I'm gonna head to sector four. And from there, I can actually head to Sector 2 or 6. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to Sector 2 first. Then kinda go to Sector 6 on the way to going to Sector 5. <clears throat> and then finish up the stuff at Sector 6. I think that's how this is gonna go. Hopefully this works. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Right. Using my space jump to my advantage. Ow. Oh well. I don't care. It's almost like I'm immortal at this point, except for the, uh, final boss. To get to Sector 2 from here... I need to freeze this crap. And not in the data room. Go above it. Get rid of all this crap. Use a diffusion missile just to get rid of all this. I could go upwards to Sector 6, or I could go downwards go to Sector 2. I'm, gonna, I'm heading to Sector 2, as you can see. Whoa, hello. And just totally not give me a warning. Okay, let's see where we have not been. I gotta check my map for this. It's a good thing that <coughs> the game doesn't penalize time for looking at the fucking map. I know this because I tested it. I tested it in my freaking uh, practice file. Okay, so... What I want to do... Shit. What I want to do is not fuck this up. If I wanted to fuck this up, I'm doing quite a good job of that right now. There we go. Oh, oh right, it's this. Uh, this is so pointlessly annoying. Uh, all of these basically are fall-through blocks until you reach that power bomb tank, and there's also an energy tank up above it, so... When I get this right, you will see it. Okay, I got the power bomb tank. And I think the energy tank will be a little bit easier. Okay, I got it. Got the energy tank. These are like two of the most pointlessly annoying items to get in the entire game. There's no reason for that to be that difficult. Right. 
you. Right, let me just check. Oh, right, there's stuff down there because fuck. Right, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. Because, yeah, there's those two items there. Right. I'm based. You know where we got the uh, the high jump, the boss. We got the high jump on. I'm basically heading there. Because of stuff. Oh, okay, I guess I don't need to power bomb that apart if I got a spirit attack. You won't be getting me today. That's for sure. Right. Because there is something over here. And over here. Oh, it's this. Shine sparking fun. Okay, let me get the easier one first. Shit. I fucked that up. I'm supposed to need a speed boost and hold the charge. Then spin, jump, shoot, and shine spark to the left. Or shine spark to the right, and there's your missile tank. That's the easy one. The hard one is going up this freaking shine spark course. Got it. All right. I had to focus for a little bit there, which is why I went kind of silent. Because... Ugh. I have my fun with that in, on my uh, pra practice session. Because of stuff. Where am I at now? I think... I need to head down in that direction. Because there was a missile tank here I picked up earlier. There is also... This missile tank that I need to pick up. Right, I'm gonna check my map just to make sure I have everything, so be right back. Okay, I think I got everything here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to Sector 4 so that I can go to Sector 6 so that I can go to Sector 5. It's, it's real complicated, I know. I am well aware of the compli- ow, of the complications. Also of the complex ow. Oh, shit. Of course. I had to forget about this. Forgetfulness is a trait shared by a bunch of people. Okay, don't mind that at all. I just kind of went the wrong way. I need to go up to a place because, yeah. Uh 
Aha! Yeah, here we go. Yeah, top door. So now we head back to, excuse me, head back to Sector 4. And my screw attacks, I screw you to these guys. And now, we go over here. There we go. I figure out where first. And go to Sector 6. Now, there's some items that we still yet to pick up here in Sector 6, but... I'm gonna go ahead and use Sector 6 to get to Sector 5 and then come back to Sector 6. Because of stuff. The hell is Sector? Oh, right. Right, just go through here. Doi! Like, seriously, man? This. Okay, now I need to figure out where I need to go for most of these items because, yeah. So I need to head all the way down, as far down as possible. Which includes speed boosting through a place. something away here? Yep. Then there's a power bomb tank. Right. Okay, I think I've got all the items on the right side. So there's still there's still one to get. Sector 5. Never mind, that will just get up there this way. Never you mind. Shoot everything! Right. 
Right, so just need to go back through there. This down, and nothing. But there's a secret little tunnel here. The missile tank up there. I just shot. If I can freaking get the thing. There we go. Right, I think that may well be everything here in uh, Sector 5. Let me just double check that. Right, then everything seems to be in order. So I'm gonna head back to Sector 6. Right, let's see where we stand. Okay, so there are six power bomb tanks left, two missile tanks and two energy tanks. Like, where's the freaking breakable blocks? It'd be just as easy to go up here. Okay. Just gotta get up a place. This is how you get up a place. Here. And there is the screw attack wall. It's like these secret sector entrances. Like they're all blocked off by by those freaking walls. Okay. things around here that I need a speed boost for. Okay. Whoosh. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Need to bomb the center of the first. Bomb the center of the second. This is like some really cryptic shit right here. Bomb the sides of the third. And the center of the fourth. That might be easier. Ah, oh, Jesus. Shine spark from here. There we go. Making it easier on ourselves. Okay. Now I actually need to shine spark back out of here. Because remember, that's a speed booster thing. Okay, 
Wait, I need to open the door first. Okay. And store the store the charge once you see the freaking door. Whoosh. Got a shine spark all the way through all this crap. Okay. This is going to be kind of tricky. We're going to do it anyway. Damn it. See, there's two things in this room. I think they're both powerbomb tanks. Yep. Basically, there's two powerbomb tanks in this room. not doing this right. There we go. Basically, you have to, uh, you have to, uh, shine spark up onto the, up onto this little ramp, and then keep running to keep the charge going. And once that immediately happens, you start space jumping. And you'll still be space jumping in your little speed boost, so. Second powerbomb tank here. There we go. Both of those are e are real easy to get once you know what the fuck you're doing, really. Stop right here. Oh yeah, that's it. Fucking okay, that was that was close. That was so close, it's not even funny. Okay. So one thing you can do is bomb this away. And then wait for one of the enemies to get up to that point. I'm gonna use a diffusion missile. Freeze them. And you can cross the gap safely and get that powerbomb tank. Otherwise... Otherwise you would actually just fall through. Those are fall through blocks. Let me make sure I'm just not missing anything before I head back down there. Okay. I am missing the last energy tank, so... And that's in the sector, so... Hey! Oh, God! I feel so terrible. Like, oh my God, he sneezed. It's like, uh... It's like, oh god, why? Wait. Yeah, this is the room, isn't it? Right, I gotta bomb that out. And then head into the thing. There's the last energy tank. I'm also still missing two missile tanks, which is kind of disconcerting. 